Okay, hello everybody. Today we are here to discuss and review uh, the first alert 5200DF, a portable handgun safe. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's talk about its capacity. Uh, you basically can fit one mid-size handgun with two magazines inside or two full-size handguns with one magazine inside. Uh, that's how much space you got, but I really think that's all you need. Here is a very nice example of what the first alert looks like uh, on the inside. You have two mid-size handguns there, uh, a few accessories, and that's that's basically what we're looking at. You have your inside foam, and you have your your top foam there, your bottom foam and your top foam, and you can see that it's pretty snug, uh, pretty tight, and pretty compact. You know, there's no bouncing around. And uh, it looks it looks really 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 comfortable and, and and it looks like a very tight, nice snug fit. Here is another fine example of the internal capacity of the first alert. Uh, as you can tell, you have your mid-sized handgun there, you have your snub nose revolver, as well as a magazine. So you know you can see what that that space looks like and that capacity there. And that's another fine real life example. Pro number two, uh, reading the instructions and programming the no C code or combination can be easily done in under five minutes. That's one thing uh, that was really mentioned in the comments we received. So let's take a look at that. Here we have our basic instructions for the uh, very simple and easy code programming. Uh, you press the red reset button located on the inside of the safe. Uh, you may need a small apparatus like a pen, pencil, or paperclip, etc. to do this. Uh, the red light will blink continuously. Now while the red light is blinking, you enter your no C 4 to 8 digit passcode that you've created and press the red reset button. The green light will now blink continuously. Uh, while the green light is blinking, re-enter your new passcode and press the red reset button. If both entries match, the green light will turn on for two seconds and a new passcode is now set for operation. Now you're ready to go with your new passcode. But if both entries do not match, the red light will turn on for two seconds and revert back to the previous passcode, which means you have to start this all over again. But as you can see, this is very easy, very quick, and uh, very easy to comprehend. Uh, it should take you a couple of minutes, uh, maybe two or three minutes, and, and you're ready to go with your new passcode. Pro number three, it's very sturdy and heavy for its size. Uh, that's one of the positive features that kept coming up uh, in our comments. Um, it's very sturdy, very heavy, you know, very well made for its size. And, uh, you know, it was very appreciated for that, that, that feature that it has. It's very small, but, but you can tell that it's really well made and, and very durable. Pro number four. It comes with a strong security wire or cable that enables it to be attached to an immovable object. So, you know, if you don't want someone to basically pick it up and take off with it, uh, <laughs> like, like a notebook or something like that, uh, attach it. You, know, you, can, you can attach it to some place inside of your car. Uh, you can attach it to some place inside of your house uh, that's pretty sturdy and immovable. Um, you know, it's a, it's a very nice feature to have because it is small and I guess someone may be tempted to you know pick it up and take it take off and run with it but uh, you can use that cable there for, to attach it to something pro number five it is extremely compact and portable uh, you can fit this just about anywhere you want to go you can take this with you uh, your travels stick it in a drawer uh, stick it in your briefcase you know uh, this can go just about anywhere you go and and that's the beauty of such a small strong unit uh, you can see that the weight's about 6.3 pounds your diameter is about 3.5 by 9.25 by 11.4 inches. Uh, you know, that gives you an idea, uh, you know, <clears throat> of the size of it, uh, the external size of it. You know, you saw a few pictures earlier that gave you the internal uh, capacity of it. Now we're looking at sort of the outer diameter. And that gives you maybe a sort of a, a piece by piece by piece uh, sort of idea of, of what it looks like on the outside. Here's another nice uh, representation of the 
the internal capacity. Again, you have your mid-size gun, you have uh, an accessory, and your um, magazine. Again, there, your, your, your upper foam, your bottom foam. Uh, you can see the space there. And you can see, you get an idea of, of, of how much room you actually have. Here's another nice shot of uh, the internal capacity of the first alert. Uh, your mid-size gun. Uh, there's a smaller gun there. Uh, you see the smaller magazine. Uh, you know, the other magazine. I see that you have a little space left here. Uh, but, you know, this this picture is very consistent with what we've seen earlier in terms of its, its capacity and internal spacing. Now let's talk about the cons. Uh, the number one issue that popped up uh, a few times was it is not silent. It tends to beep when you're pressing the keys and when opening the top. Uh, some people felt like, you know, if you're in a situation where <clears throat> you're trying to sort of keep quiet while you're accessing your weapon, if an intruder hears this, it may alert this intruder to your whereabouts. And you tend to want to get the jump on the burglar. You don't want to get, you don't want the burglar to get the jump on you. You know, so some people felt like uh, that may be an issue. Uh, it is something to think about. Con number two, it does not spring open and does not really pop open, uh, you know, when you enter your code. Uh, generally, it takes about two hands uh, to open the top, and the lid has no way to stay up unless it's pushed all the way back. Uh, you know, there are those who felt as if that may impede your progress if you're trying to access your weapon. Uh, you know, you sort of have to push the lid all the way back and sort of keep it there to access your weapon. It doesn't just pop open and stay open. There's nothing that really props it up. And so some people felt like that may sort of uh, be a bit of a hindrance. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it is something to think about. The third con was battery life. Uh, there were a few complaints about the battery life. Uh, there were those who felt like the batteries lasted about a month to two months. Uh, and, you know, what do you do there? Uh, if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Uh, but be prepared to consistently uh, have batteries for this unit. Uh, you know, one month is not not a long time. You know, two months, we're, we're getting close to average. But, you know, about one to two months is what you can expect in battery life. Con number four, if you input two wrong finger combinations, it will lock you out for two minutes. Uh, you know, some felt like if, if you're rushed, if it's, you know, two o'clock in the morning, you know, you hear a noise, you, you try and access your weapon and you're still groggy, uh, you input your own wrong finger combination, you're locked out for two minutes, what do you do? Uh, you know, thankfully there's the key override, but there are those who felt like, hmm, I don't know about this, uh, you know, uh, that's a bad time to sort of lock you out for two minutes, but again, it's something to think about. Um, the flip side of this is that if someone is trying to access your weapon and this person is not supposed to, then it's good that they're locked out for two minutes because they don't know the code and they shouldn't be messing around with your safe anyway. So it's, it's all in how you look at it. Here's our ratings recap out of five stars. Uh, you know, the, the first alert, as far as ease of at, ease of use, we give it about a four. You know, it really does its job. Uh, you, programming the code is quite simple. Uh, so we give it an ease of use, uh, give it about a four on that one. Uh, quick access, had to drop it a few points. Um, you know, uh, the, the door not springing up, not popping up. Uh, that was an issue with some people. Some people felt like the door should have just bounced open, popped up, and it should stay there. You should go in there with one hand, get your weapon, and, and keep moving. Uh, so we dropped it a few points for that. Battery life, we felt like the battery life could have been a bit longer. You know, one month is is pretty short, actually. Um, but, you know, that, that that's why we gave it a three. Uh, sturdiness and durability. Give it a strong four there. Uh, that's That's one quality that kept popping up. You know, um, people are constantly referring to how sturdy it was and how strong it was and how heavy it was for such a small unit. Hard to break into. Uh, again, give it a strong four there. Uh, it's very durable, very compact, very tightly made. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a strong plus there. 
alternate means of access. You basically have your, your digital entry and you also have your two key overrides and that's it. So, you know, we like that there's a key override. So we give it a four for that one. Value for the money at about 70 to $80 retail somewhere around there and plus a five year limited warranty. Uh, it's really worth the money. You know, it really is worth the money. That's, that's not a lot of money in terms of gun safes. Uh, so we give it a, I give it a pretty confident and strong four for value for the money. So it's a, it's a nice little durable, compact gun safe that really does the job. Um, and we give it a strong four there. That is going to do it for our review of the portable handgun safe first alert 5200DF. Uh, if you'd like to check it out yourself, stroll over to gunsafereviews.evandevereaux.com. That basically is the best place online for gun safes, the number one place online for gun safes. Uh, over 100 items listed, as well as concealed carry holsters and accessories uh, for all you gun owners there. So go over and check it out. Uh, look forward to more reviews from us, and God bless you.